Algebra 1, 12.3b, what is an interval graph? Interval graphs are used in discrete mathematics. There's a link in this description if you want to get more information about discrete mathematics. So we've learned how to graph ordered pairs on a coordinate grid, but there's many other ways to show data using graphs. And one type of graph is called an interval graph. It can be used to solve problems about the intersection of different time intervals. An interval graph is just a collection of points called vertices and line segments called edges that connect some of the vertices. And these interval graphs can be used to date prehistoric artifacts and archaeology, to identify genes, and to check the testimony of witnesses and suspects for crime investigations. We can see time intervals more clearly and how they're connected. Okay, So here's our problem. Several people spend Saturday morning at a swimming pool. And if two people are there at the same time, they can see each other. But the pool is not that big. So Adam arrives at 9 a.m. and stays for two hours. Well, that means he leaves at 11, right? Bob arrives at 9.45 a.m. Carol arrives with Adam and leaves with Bob before Adam is ready to leave. So now we've got people coming and going, don't we? And Dave arrives as Adam is leaving, and he leaves at noon. Ella spends the shortest amount of time, but she sees Adam, Bob, Carol, and Dave. And Frank sees Adam, but not Bob. So how many people could Bob see at the swimming pool? So it's not that big, so if someone is coming or going, he's going to see them, right? Depending on the time they arrive, okay? So each person is represented with a vertex that's labeled with the first letter of their name. So if you notice, we've got A, B, C, D, E, and F, okay? So whenever two people are at the pool at the same time, we connect their vertices with an edge, all right? So we've got A, B, C, D, E, and F, and since Adam and Carol arrive at the same time, it says he arrived at 9 a.m. and Carol arrived with him, with Adam, okay? So since Adam and Carol arrive at the same time, we connect their vertices because we know they saw each other if they arrived at the same time, right? So now we're going to connect these two, okay? Bob arrives before Adam leaves, and he leaves with Carol. Bob arrived at 9.45. Remember, Adam didn't leave until 11, so you know they had to have seen each other, right? And Carol arrived with Adam, and she left with Bob, so to leave with him, she, you know she had to see him, right? So B should connect to both A and C. Now, since Dave arrives as Adam leaves, he misses Carol and Bob. Dave arrives as Adam is leaving. And Carol and Bob left early, before 11, before Adam did. So Dave missed them. So D, Dave, is going to connect to A, Adam, because he was still there at 11, but it's not going to connect to C or B for Carol or Bob, okay? So D is going to connect to A, all right? Now, Ella sees the first four people. Ella spends the shortest amount of time, but she sees Adam, Bob, Carol, and Dave. So that means we need to connect E to A, B, C, and D, okay? So she connects to all four of these. So E is going to connect to A, B, C, and D, all right? Now Frank, he sees Adam but not Bob, all right? So if we look at a time for Frank to see Adam but not Bob, well, Bob didn't arrive until 9.45 a.m. That means Frank had to have come and gone in this tiny little period up here before Bob even showed up. Frank could arrive at 9 a.m. and leave before Bob arrives at 9.45. Well, because Carol arrived with Adam, that means Frank is going to see Adam and Carol. So we're going to connect F to A and C. All right, so this is an interval graph. 
So can we see, let me fix this, can we see, it says, how many people could Bob see at the swimming pool? We see all the edges, we see all our vertices, see that? So here's Bob B, how many lines does he have coming out of him? He's got one, two, three. So that means Bob could see three people. See? Now, if we made it as a timeline like this, we could see here's Adam in the orange, here's Bob in the blue, here's Carol in the red, here's Dave in the purple, here's Ella in the green, and here's Frank in the turquoise color, okay? Because he's kind of a turquoise color, all right? We could actually look at this timeline and see who's there at the same time. So there's one, two, three people that are definitely at the pool at the same time. We can see how Ella can see these three and this one, but she doesn't see Frank, does she? They showed up at two different times, and that's why E doesn't connect to F. See how they're separate from each other? And Frank doesn't see Dave. He's way over here. So F is not connected to D. See that? So that's an interval graph. No big deal. And they use it for computers, and they use it for a lot of different sciences. All right? So I just wanted to introduce this to you so that in the future you'd say, I've seen an interval graph before, and it's not a complete foreign idea to you. Okay? So our next video is 12.4a. I'm going to talk about what is a quadratic function. And like always in this playlist, there's going to be links to the previous videos and helpful videos for you so you can just click on them. All right. And there's some from chapter seven and chapter nine about set builder notation or slope intercept form. And there'll be a link for uh, info on discrete math so you can just click on it. And we just finished some linear function word problems that you might like to check out, okay? So all these videos are going to be in the description of this one, so you can just click on them, all right? Okay, we're going to leave them at the pool, and I'll see you next video. Bye.